Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Super Flat Survival in the year 2023. That is such a weird thing to feel that we are in another year. And I mean, a lot's going to be changing, but one thing that I can say will stay consistent is Super Flat episodes. Uh, I plan on doing these every single week, the entirety of this year. Hopefully, no breaks, but no promises. Uh, I'm sure that there's going to be a couple of weeks where I get overwhelmed by school or a trip or something. And yeah, we, we don't need to make these promises yet. But I have been working in the background, getting things ready uh, just in preparation for what I have planned this year. And as you can see, yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of farming. Um, I don't remember if in the last episode we got the birch saplings but while i was farming a lot of stuff uh a wandering trader did appear I, I again i don't remember the timeline of that but we've been grinding all of our trees i believe even in here yes we have an entire shulker box worth of just jungle logs and we've been getting pretty close with the oak and the birch not so close with the mangrove and you can see i've also been working on getting the uh nether woods yeah as well as well as the nether warp blocks since those go pretty well and yeah here we go not too much of the actual stems um these ones actually they are surprisingly hard to grind um so <laughs> yeah that's just all been going um but we're gonna go ahead and tear all this down get ourselves ready uh for or yeah the start of this episode now that looks a little bit more cleared out and today we have a lot of work to do <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of work to do at least for the next month before we slow it back down again uh today we are going to be working yet again with our villagers now it's actually been two whole months since we've worked with the villagers and that was uh making the brewing um contraption that you can see in the background right there um and i want to finally build up Ooh. I just fell off the wall. I want to finally build up the trading hall for this thing. I've been taking some time figuring out how I really want to form it. And I finally come up with a uh, church design, which I think will be very nice, very cool. And also, I want to finally work in the second gate tower. Because in this first one here, we have our villager breeder, which... For some reason, it's just constantly getting ruined. Um, I, I really don't know how or what's causing it. I, I want to assume that a baby villager is doing it, but who knows? Could just be these guys. Um, but villager breeder has been working very good, as you can see. Um, but I want to actually do the farms um, that villagers can do. So potato carrot and beetroot and i believe there is the perfect amount of room to fit them into this tower here so yeah this should be very fun very exciting getting some more farms done as well as just some really nice building um and i am really really excited for this um as you can see we already have some of our sugar boxes here uh fully ready give you guys just a little bit of an idea of what our building palette's going to be, of course, lots of grays, some green as well to mix in with the grass, um, some extras. But I am, I am very excited to get working on this build. And yeah, I mean, why, why waste time just talking about it? Let's get building our villager trading hall.
And so guys, here is our little church for our villager trading hall. And honestly, this place is pretty great. We have all of our villagers in here already. We're just missing a couple of librarians that we just simply don't have yet. And you can see we have zombies down there. So I'm actually, I, I can test this out right now. So we do have quite a few librarians that have more expensive trades than I honestly want. I want to bring these down definitely just as much as possible. And we do have three golden apples here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead, bring a few of these guys down. And it might take a few minutes, but the zombie is supposed to attack the villagers. I think I might be a bit in the way. Um, honestly, I haven't tested this too well, but I thought that this worked just fine. There he goes. Um, but yeah, a big issue is that if the zombie sees me, then he is much more likely to, you can see, he'll go after me, uh, which is a minor problem. And actually, those zombie villagers cannot hit any other villagers through the trap doors. So it's completely individual um, and everything like that. So we just need to wait just a couple minutes for, um, you know, the, the zombie to get the other two. Okay, now all three are turned into zombie villagers. So we just need to push the button to bring them up. And then we can just splash the potion of weakness. And we can cure them. Um, actually, have we even done this in this world yet? I don't... We have not. Actually, this is our first time uh, completing Zombie Doctor. So this is exciting. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to sit around for like five-ish five, five -ish minutes. Uh, I'm sure that you guys know the drill of curing villagers. But this is an easy way just to, you know, blow the villagers, drop down zombie hits, bring villager back up and everything like that. Instead of um, like having one of those complex rail systems. Okay, this would be easy enough. Um, only issue with this design, uh, especially the redstone, is that you can't hit two buttons next to each other like immediately, um, just because of the way that quasi connectivity works in redstone. If you guys know what that means, basically, um, just every once in a while, some pistons will act a little bit weird if the block next to them is being powered, um, and will sometimes make that block powered and power the second piston as as well it's it's a little hard to explain honestly um i don't know why it's in the game but mojang is keeping it in because honestly it can be really useful for some different redstone designs and so as you can see we have zombie doctor these guys are now yeah oh my god i'm breaking three for one emerald that is insane. Obviously, we'll need to do a few more times if we want to get all these bookshelves and name tag for super cheap. But you can see, yeah, mending also for singular emerald, silk touch for singular emerald. I'm going to I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, zombification processes. But yeah, I mean, you, you can already tell that this is going to be so useful. Very helpful for sure. Um, oh, it is nighttime out. But our next project for today is in fact the uh, farming tower, and I'm I'm very excited to do this. It should be really simple. I think like genuinely, once every barrel is where the levels would be. Um, so yeah, this should work out pretty nicely. Um, and I wish I could do this in like the form of a time lapse, but since it's in such an ex enclosed space, I I don't think a time lapse would really work um i guess I'll, I'll try to do a time lapse but i can also just like you know do the thing where every like five seconds i show a different clip of what i'm doing and then at the end of like five clips or so then we're done and then i can explain it i don't know we'll see uh post-production shoe i don't know do something <laughs> For the villager farming build, I thought I would try to do a little voiceover, and please let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. So, we started with a basic storage system that is meant to be a silo and nothing really is sorted. I built up each farming layer and then began bringing the villagers in one at a time. 
This did get tedious, but I learned from my mistakes quickly. A villager would be pushed back to the second hopper, two hopper minecarts would go in front of him, and then a villager would be brought in as the farmer. Essentially, the farmer villager harvests the crops and tries to get them to the other villager, but the hopper minecart will intercept it, bringing it down to our storage. So, with the beetroot, the carrot, and potato farms all complete, I think our day's work is complete. And so, the second tower is now filled in. As you can see, it's not, it's not the prettiest, at least from the outside windows. I'm not actually sure how it looks from this side, but you should be able to see. Yeah, there's a, at least one villager that you can see. There's another one that's hiding, like, right at that spot, which you, you can't really see. But I am pretty happy uh, with it overall. I am noticing just one very tiny thing, which is that that window should be open. Now you can see two villagers. So, yeah, we at least have them there. Uh, it should hopefully all be working, but that will take a little bit of time. Um, I think I might just AFK this for like an hour um, before we do finally end this episode. Okay, so we have finished up. Why are there zombies in here? Oh my gosh, there's four. Why are there four zombies in here? What the heck is going on? Um, but this has been running at least for a little bit. I don't know if it's been like an hour, but I believe, okay, so this chest should get filled first just because generally uh, the items will go straight down through here. But in the end, it would all get filled. It. Why? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Why are there so many zombies? Oh my goodness. Ah, I set myself on fire. Uh, that that was a little, a little very chaotic. Um, oh, I think it's because my best guess, I think that zombies are, yeah, zombies can see the villagers. And so they're getting brought over there. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. Okay, uh, random chicken. I'm gonna hope he lays an egg or two. But, uh, we are talking about this, and okay! Okay, we know it's working. Th that's, that's all I needed to know, is that it's, is that it's working. So I'm happy with that. That is great. That is good. Um, this will definitely take a long time to AFK, of course, but, oh, wow. Carrots are coming in pretty fast here. Um, and yeah, that, that's really good. It'll just, you know, come in over time while we, uh, work here and make more buildings and everything like that. So, should be tons of fun. Where did the, wh where did the chicken go? The chicken was here, like, t t five seconds ago. Okay, well, that, that chicken managed to just disappear. I, I simply cannot find him. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to go like and subscribe down below for more content. We are hoping for an entire year of Superflat. I'm so excited to see how much I can uh, push this world further. Uh, it's going to be super exciting, and I hope to have you guys along with me. And so, until next, guys, yeah, peace out.